In this session, I'm going to show you how you can log into your cPanel and start working on your site. So you can log in into your cPanel in two ways. You can access your cPanel directly from your Google Host account. If you log in into your Login into your Google Host account under services. So click on these services. So you will see the current account you, you have on Google Host. Click on the account. Just scroll down. From here, you can manage add on domains, backup, and other things. So you can as well access your cPanel from here. If you click on this cPanel, this is Google Host cPanel, and this is the look of the cPanel. Under here we have emails. Under under here we have files. We have database. We have domain. We have metrics. We have security, software, advanced preferences and software colors. So these are the cPanel options. Another way to log into your cPanel is accessing it with your cPanel login details. So if you go back to your Google host hosting details. So under it you are going to see cPanel URL you will see your site name slash cPanel or you are going to see an IP address slash cPanel so under it you are going to see your username and password so if you click on this IP address so it will open like this so this is the cPanel login page so what you are going to do is just to copy your username first, add it under username, copy your password under it, so add it under password, so you now click on login. So we have the email account, we have the file manager database domain metrics security softwares advanced preferences and softaculous so we are going to start from email on that email this is where you create your email account custom email creating custom email is you are going to have your website address something like info dot info at your website name dot com and if you want to create your email you create it from here if you want to create email forwarder you create it from here so if you click on this email account this is the default system email so if you want to create new email you click on create so under here you choose the domain you want to assign so we have single domain here which is this one so you can use something like hello at guestcase.site so under this place you choose your password you can use password generator to generate your password under edit settings so you can also assign the space you want or you can make the space unlimited so when you are done you click on create so we have this hello dot hello at guest case dot site and if you want to manage this email or check this email you click on check email so under this check email click on this run cool So this is your email box and we have this client configuration email so this is how to create your email on 
cPanel. So let's go back to cPanel. Another thing we are going to discuss is file manager. Under file manager, this is where all your files are being installed. Documents, videos, and images. So if you open this file manager, we have all these folders. And this is your main directory or primary directory. If you buy hosting and domain together, the primary domain or the domain you use to purchase the hosting, this is where you will install all the files under this public underscore HTML. And we have this default folder inside it. And all your documents are going to install, are going to be installed inside this place. So under this place, we have database. So this is where we create our database. You create your database under this MySQL database and access your database from PHP My Admin. If you want to create your database, you create your database from here. Another one we have is domain. Here are the list of all your domain. If you want to add new domain, you add it from here. If you want to redirect your domain to another domain, you set it from here. And this is where you can check metrics like people that number of people that do visit your site every day or monthly or weekly basis. So you can use this webliser to check it. And we also have security. We have SSL certificate. That is this key. This way you're, you're going to set your SSL. And we have let Eclipse SSL. This SSL is free. It's free forever. So if you have this SSL, it is free. And it is normally on auto renew. Under this place, we have software. Under this software, you can install. Under this place, you have softaculous applications. So this allows you to install so many apps like WordPress, Joomla, PrestaShop, Magento, and other web development applications. And here, yeah, if you want to check your PHP version, this is where you are going to use to change your PHP version. So if you click on it, so under this place, it will show you the current PHP we are running. We are running a 5.6, which is default PHP. And the latest one is 8.2. But you can go to 8.0. So if you click on this 8.0, if you select the PHP version you want, you want to run, you click on apply to make the changes. So this is where you change your PHP version. So we have this softaculous applications. So under this softaculous applications, we use it to install something like WordPress, Joomla, and other PHP softwares. So if you're working on WordPress sites, this is where you install your WordPress site from. So this is all about cPanel. Thank you and see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.